Okay, guys. Um, <laughs> this fight, I had a had a phone call. Um, I had a phone call from uh, from Alex Kingsbury a little while back, um, telling me he'd had he'd had nothing but a but a fantastic spa with um with this guy from Paddy's gym. Um, you know, and he's uh he you know he said to me I'd love to get this fight on. Uh, you know, everyone everyone in the gym stopped stopped what they was doing just to watch his spa. Um, you know, and that, and now things have got real. Um, so Alex Kingsbury versus Luke Honeyball. Can you both come up, please? So, guys, um, obviously, a lot of you know, a lot of you know Alex Kingsbury and heard of uh, Alex King Kingsbury. And um, <clears throat> I don't know if a lot of you, uh, a lot of you have heard about um, <coughs> Luke Honeyball here, but um, he's been training hard. And uh, first of all, he's just had a little, a little baby boy. So, a uh, massive a round of applause for him just having a little baby boy. <laughs> you know, he's just had his baby boy, and he's been, he's been getting moaned up by the missus. Uh, <laughs> you know, because he's been putting the work in training. Um, <coughs> these two guys, uh, from the understanding I get, I know Alex has been training training double hard. Uh, they both train at Paddy's uh, at different times. Um, Alex comes down to the arena as well, um, so he mixes his training up and does and does it from both both parts. Um, Luke, I'm going to start with you. Just tell us a little bit about, um, you know, how this fight come about um, and, you know, when you when you got offered to fight, you, you took it straight away and a little bit about your training. Cool. So I've only really been boxing a year um, and I started getting into it just purely down to the fitness. But as you all know, when you step in the ring, you start sparring, you get a, get a bug for it. So after about six, seven months, I got in the ring with Alex um, and he didn't go easy on me straight away. So um, it was pretty intense and that sort of carried on for the next couple of months. And then Alex just turned around one day and said, do you fancy having a fight? Um, so I took the fight and yeah, what Steve said, I've my little boy's four weeks old so just juggling training trying to get down there three four times a week doing a bit of running outside of that with it being my first fight my first show i want to um, give a good account of myself um so yeah that's it really and uh alex tell a little bit of people about yourself mate um obviously when was your last fight um <clears throat> you've had a couple of fights now um tell us how the spars went um and you know what are you going to do different on the night uh, compared to the spars um, I, my last fight was for John, the Northern Boys. Yes. Yeah, I won that. Uh, <laughs> the spa with Luke, it was quite hard. I got out of the ring, I was quite annoyed with it, so I rang, rang you up, got the fight on. Since then, I've been going down with you, sparring Garvey. It's been going alright. So, guys, obviously, <coughs> you know, you both you both trained at Paddy's and you, you, both, you both know, know what to expect of each other um but again for you luke have you been doing anything different to what you've normally been doing obviously because you've had so many spars now um do you think obviously you know what to expect or have you been working on different things um you know that what he expects from you i think with alex he's holding a little bit back as well so um i guess for me i'm just going to focus on myself i don't want to go into too much about what i'm going to do on the night but i do have a game plan um, and I'll try and stick to that. I, I guess, yeah, I'm not worried too much about what Alex is going to do and just focus on me, what I'm going to do and then what, what, what will happen on the night will happen. And same to you, Alex. Like I said, um, you know, <coughs> you've sparred this guy many rounds now, I, as you both know. Um, are you confident, you know, from sparring him and what he does, are you confident and, you know, of what it's got to go in there and beat him on a real fight? I'm quite confident, yeah. I reckon, I reckon I'll win, 100%. And the same to you, bro. Obviously, like I said, you you shared a lot of rounds. Yeah. Um, so, <clears throat> does... As sparring him a lot, obviously sometimes people hold back on power. Um, people hold back on, on speed. Um, so you shared a lot of rounds with him. You know, did his power, did his power ever affect you? Um, did, like you just said, you thought he'd hold back a little bit. Um, but obviously yourself... Uh, did you hold back a little bit and, and if you have been improving and, and more to the point do you think you know you, you got the power to, to stop this guy 
I think with the sparring for me, it's more about trying to take in sparring what I've learned outside on the gym. So I think there was a bit of holding back from both of us because just trying to touch up on all your skills and everything like that. So um, I think he has got more power to give. I'm under no illusion that I think there's more there, um, but I'm very confident and comfortable that whatever he comes with, I'm, I'm happy or I'm comfortable that I can deal with that um, as well. So, so you're, com you're confident you're going to come up with a win? 100%. I wouldn't be doing that otherwise. So guys, we got any questions uh, for these two? John McDonough? Oh, he's waiting for me. Um, what's his name? Luke. 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 I believe you've done quite a few tickets for this show. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing September 7th? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's genuine. Genuine question, Luke. I'll have to speak to the missus first, see how we get on after this one. <laughs> Good answer. So guys, if a lot of you don't know, obviously while we're on the subject, um, John McDonough, he does run Northern Boys, uh, and he has got a great show coming up in September. So listen, if any of, any of you do do want to continue to fight, um, I mean, you're pretty matched up um, with, with most of your fights now, I believe. Um, but there's always, there's, always move for, there's always room for a ticket seller. Um, but listen, guys, um, John's show is in September. He does always put fantastic fights on. Um, it's going to be at the same venue um, is, is what this one is, is at the Mecca. So if any of you do fancy uh, continuing to fight, then uh, get in contact with John McDonough himself. And also I've got my own Obsie and Booby. And he's got his own Obsie and Booby. <laughs> no, so guys, um, give these two uh, guys a massive round of applause, like I said. Um, let's have a little face-off up the front here. And fight night, fight day.